Pixel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dark Souls 3. We're just gonna jump in here on a new game, so let's do it. The hell is this, the Dark Crystal? Seriously, that looks like something ripped straight out of the Dark Crystal. That's, that's actually awesome. The fire no! How will we keep warm? No, the fire, I can't go on. Uh, uh. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls. And one dead person shall arrive for every game copy sold. So we're not the Lords of Cinder, but we work for them? Or are we trying to kill them? I don't understand. Oh, Dark Souls lore, you're so thick and brooding. That guy looks a little large. Let me guess. Let me guess. Final boss? Yorm? Yorm, you fight a boss, bro? Yo, Yorm, you fight a boss, bro? I got a funny feeling he's final boss. Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be cinder. What does that mean? And I think that's precisely why you don't jump into the third of the series and expect to understand a single dang old thing that is going on. So before recording this, I played a little bit of Dark Souls to, uh, to try to get myself uh, acquainted uh, to the game because I'd never played a uh, Souls game before. So I uh, took that time to uh, come up with uh, a face. So I'm gonna load that in. There I am. Well, she. I'm. I'm not a. I'm not a girl. But there. There I. That's what I would look like if I was uh, an unkindled thing, not even fit for Cinder. So there I am, buried underneath all of that armor. Uh, we need a name. Uh, what's a good name? Somebody, somebody give me a name. There we go. Dark Souls. That's her name. Well, we're doing it. We're sticking with it. So, I was tempted on the, this class of uh, going with something, like, deprived, just to, just to really get just the most out of, uh, of Dark Souls here. But, actually, me and my buddy Alex will be doing a stream of this game where uh, the, the entire point is basically to die. So I think I'm going to save the deprived run for that. I'm going to go with something that I might actually be able to succeed at because it is a playthrough and I'd like to actually be able to, you know, play through. So now that we're all set up, let's do it. Wake up, sweetie. The bell's tolling. It's time to get up for school. But Ma, I don't go to school anymore. I fight horrible demon monster things. No, you don't fight demons. That was Demon Souls. This is Dark Souls. It's different. Ah, oh, shit, Ma, you're right. I got sand in all of the wrong places. Wow, not gonna lie, that was really, that was a really cool reveal. Thumbs up, Dark Souls. So I'm just gonna go ahead right now and say that I guarantee you a hundred times out of a hundred, I'm going to call this Bloodborne when trying to call it Dark Souls. That's just, that's just gonna happen. Holy shit. Uh, I, I apologize in advance for all of the distress and despair that is surely going to cause everyone. So like I said, I played a bit of this before recording it just so I could kind of get, uh, get acquainted with, with uh, Dark Souls. Because in my experience, when you just jump straight up blind into a, a playthrough, like literally not even knowing how the game controls, I just spend half the time going, uh, what? How do I play this game? And that's, that's just not interesting. So I got at least acquainted with the controls and then uh, moved on to recording. So that's where we are now. Hey buddy, I'm just gonna, just gonna. Ugh. Well, I was hoping to do a different, different attack, different attack. That didn't didn't work. So hopefully with the fact that I'm a little bit aware of how this game controls, I won't just die immediately. I don't know why I waited for him to shoot. <laughs> I could have just attacked him, but I was like, ah, no, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him to do damage to me. What's up, baby? Oh, wow. You were aggressive. I do not appreciate. Uh, in my short time playing, I've discovered this attack, and it's one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah. The leap attack does so much damage. Oh God, you're faster than me. You, you swing faster. I got, I got, I got a little, uh, little carried away with the excitement. Now uh, there's this little thing here that says turn back, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, my curiosity got the better of me the first time I went through here. And uh, in case you haven't played it and are curious why they want you to turn back, uh, it's a good idea. 
it's a it's a damn good idea because uh, that thing is literally the worst when you're when you're a newbie. It will absolutely f you up. Now there's an item over there. I didn't reach it last time. I'm so tempted to sprint for it and try to grab it, but uh, I'll come back. Sorry, I'm scared. Wait in the water. Come on, why can't, oh, I can't sprint through it. What? I thought I couldn't. So how far did you get while playing this, I hear you ask, even though I'm sure you didn't. Uh, I got past the first boss and pretty much out of the, I don't know, I guess you would have called it the starting area. I think it's called the Wall of Lothric or something. I, I was there, so not, not terribly far, but uh, far enough that I could just get acquainted. What's up, baby? Let's do it. Tango, tango uniform. Come on, swing at me, swing at me, baby. Swing at me, swing at me, swing at me. All right, I'm doing it. Took too long. See, and then remember I was telling you about that that little stabby? You just go, Rah! oh God, <laughs> woo, wow. This weapon is a little shorter than the ax that I was playing with before. Uh, whoa, yeah. Let's try it again. No miss. God damn it. Oh God, oh, oh, oh come on, woo, woo, what a kick. Why did I kick? I don't understand how this game works. Ugh. So, uh, this is a little cool little, uh, tutorial they teach you here. So it says, press left stick while dashing to jump. And you're like, well, why would I want to do that? Oh, maybe for that item. Let's do it. Oh, God, hold on. Hey, buddy. Just gonna, woo! Oh, woo! Okay, just not... <laughs> uh, I'm not doing very good. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. What you should do is you go, and you go, Rah! Yeah! Give me this. Titanite shot. Whatever the hell that is. I hope there's nobody down here. Just kidding. I'm very glad there was. Oh, sorry. I, I don't like walls. Especially rock walls. Dum 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 serpentine. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I need to get better at locking on. I just don't do it very often. Hey buddy. There's something on your back. It's me. Woo! Oh wow, you actually hit me from that? Uncool, bro. Uncool. I'm gonna heal. I, I, I'm planning on stopping at the bonfire to uh, to rest my sh my my little tired eyes. But uh, I wasn't gonna heal until I got to the bonfire. But if that guy hit me one shot and I died, that would have been the most embarrassing thing. So I uh, decided not to. Now I know why did I kill all these people? Why did I do that? If I sit here at this bonfire, they all respawn. Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Because I wanted to warm up, okay? I got a big boss fight ahead of me. I gotta be warmed up for that. Hey, give me that. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have gotten that famous soul if I didn't. Don't do it too late. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these uh, couple guys again. Get a little bit more warm ups. And then uh, we'll cut back to me when I'm done. All right, let's do it. Now, I know for a fact that none of you guys are gonna believe me because <laughs> why would you? But when I, uh, Versus boss the first time on uh, my character that I made to run through here initially uh, Beat it first time without dying now the reason you're not gonna believe that is because I No know, knowing that I just said that I'm probably going to die this time because that's just how it works All right got a little bit of damage on him. Whoa, what's up, baby? Time it. I did not time it. Well, that was a not a good time. There we go. All right keep myself healed just for uh Whoa, how- I, okay, that was just bad. Stop it. Stop it. Stop being a dick. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, get some attacks on him. Get some- get some steep attacks. Okay. Now, he does this metamorphosizing thing, and that makes him a little- a little tougher. Especially when he does that! Oh, God. So, I'm still working on my timing for dodging. Uh, the last- last time I was working on my <laughs> timing for dodging was during that boss fight, uh... Oh, God! Land. Uh in Bloodborne. So anybody who saw that knows that I just, bad timing all around. Okay, I did not evade that, right? Oh no, this guy's dead. Time it. Yes. And you're done for. This boss is actually really not that hard. So may maybe it is believable that I could, uh, that I could, uh, beat it first time. I don't know. Boss is supposed to be hard. Ah, oh, no. What? Yeah, what? What? Right. Really? Son of a bitch. Technical mother flipping difficulties.
All right, we're back. Actually, I think what happened is I think I was in online mode, so when uh, when when it disconnected for a second, it got pissy. So uh, we're in offline mode for the moment. I don't know what's going on with my internet, but I don't feel like taking the time to go and evaluate that, so we're in offline mode for now. Really, it doesn't really matter because it's not like I plan on summoning any friends, and uh, <laughs> their notes... Oh, man, if you guys have played Dark Souls 3, oh, those notes are just... Knee slappers, man! Knee slappers! If I had a dollar for every note that I saw that was, like, placed at the ass end of an enemy that said, beware of toxic gas, or a person that was attractive that just said the word tongue and then butt and then hole as in a hole in the ground, oh, man. I probably could have paid for Dark Souls 3 with that. Honestly. So we're just gonna drop down on you. Sup, buddy? Aw, that didn't work too well for you, did it? Oh, er, no, not off the edge. Not until I get your items. All right, goodbye. No! I think they just vanished. That was weird. Homeward Bone. Homeward Bone. Oh, man. I'd like to give her a nice box of chocolates to show my love and affection in a very, very materialistic way. What were you guys thinking? Good night, dude. God damn it. Find a dollar, man. No! Oh, what? I was really hoping you'd fall forward. Fall forward! Ah! Disappear. God, I'm not gonna lie. This game is is artistically very, very pretty. It is by far not the most realistic or like graphically insane game that's ever existed. But artistically, it is freaking beautiful. I'm sorry, but just look at this view. Look at that. Look at the mountains. That was that. Look at the mountains. It's amazing. Now, I feel like a lot of this is almost kind of spoiled because I've I've played this part before, but this part's fun. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh, come on. I thought uh, it, it, uh, it, uh. Come on, buddy. Let's let's tango foxtrot. Also, the fact that I am burning right now just looks so amazing. I'm on fire. Oh, check it out. I'm on fire. Come on, fight. All right, you know what? You know what? Fine. Fine, make it through the hard way. Oh, I got an arrow in me. Ah! I used to be a Dark Souls like you, and then I took an arrow to the shoulder blade. Oh, it's not really the blade. It was more like, I don't know. I don't know what part of that bone is. Somebody look it up and tell me. What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right, dude. Let's see who's better. Let's see who's better. Let's see who's better. It's me! Oh, I told you it was me. Whoa! Damn, I threw him. Like a rag doll. I love the I love the rag dolls in this game. It's so fun to just shove them off the edge. Goodbye! No, I said, hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh! Well, I'm going to say goodbye. Well, this is a waste of time, but I gotta go down and throw him off too. He's gonna be lonely without his friend. Goodbye. I like to imagine there's just like a small peaceful village at the base of the mountain and there's just like some like really old farmer who's just tending to his crops and he's like, you know, it's a good day today. And then just like bodies just start landing all over his like freshly grown pumpkins. Just smashing them. Oh, that'd be amazing. Now there's a, uh, what I like to call a asshole up here who's, uh, very, very difficult to fight. Um, unreasonably so, if you ask me. Uh, I hear that- Oh god, oh Jesus, oh god, you guys are usually sleeping. What woke you guys up? Was the fact that I was throwing all your friends off of cliffs? I know that would wake me up. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! Dark Souls, wake me up, I'm a demon! That's the wrong game again. I gotta stop calling them demons. But, uh, yeah, I've seen that you can kill this guy, um, if you're a pyromancer, or if you're very- just very good at this game. Uh, I am neither of those things. So you're just gonna have to trust me on that because I don't feel like dying. I know for a fact I'm gonna die a lot more later. Why do I need to add to the counter now? Huh? Right? Yeah, it's because you don't got a good answer. Give me that homeward bone. Now there's a, a poopy puppy down there. He will jump scare the living shit out of you if you're not aware he's there, but I'm gonna get a jump scare on him! Jump scare, bitch! Ah, no! Barf, barf. And again, because it is my signature, uh, rip! Ah! 
it's so fun. It's so stupid. I'm a goddamn idiot, but it's fun. Damn, look at that. It looks so good. I can see my boss battle from here. So once you've got everything in here, you go inside of this place. Uh, you go to church. Um, you know, get dip your hand in the holy water, father to son, and all that, you know, all that stuff. You know, something about poltergeists, and uh, then you come down and you talk to the priestess. What's up, baby? Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm gonna get a little endurance, get a little health, get a little strength. I think I'll get a little more endurance, and we'll call it a day. Thank you, lady. You're very nice. Now this is old Grandma Jenkins. She uh, she sells you stuff. Uh, she she tells you to bring souls very greedily, and then this is pretty much Zeus himself. Well, well a new governor, I see. He's also the only person who moves his mouth when he talks, but he just goes in like four syllable shapes, and then that's it, and just repeats. Even when he's not talking, he does it. So that's that's great. And uh, this will let you allot your estesis. I'm gonna just go full health build on this because I'm pretty sure I don't have any sort of magic at all. So why would I even waste my time? Now, somebody's gonna correct me and be like, actually, you have a lot of magic that you should be using. Uh, please let me know if that's true because I don't. Also, is this the sword that I pulled out of that guy earlier, like the boss? Because it looks exactly like it, except way smaller, which is literally the exact thing that ladies say when I send them dick pics and then they see me in real life. I'm just kidding, I don't talk to ladies. What's up here? Actually, I don't think I've ever been up here. Oh! A whole new world! What the hell's wrong with this tree? Oh. Why does this tree have musculature and an arm and a whole face? That's crazy. Ascend the tower! It's locked. Damn it. Soul of deserted corpse. So I'm assuming that these are uh, pretty much the equivalent of bloodstones. Uh, just, 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 re just, reach your, just reach your arm up. Just, just reach your, reach your arm up. Just, just grab it, you know? Pull it down. Or, or lift yourself up here. I mean, I know you're in armor and you're probably pretty heavy, but use that to your advantage and pull that down. Oh god, there's something on the roof. Do I have to, do I have to jump? Let's do it. Uh, leap! What? I said... Leap! Okay, that is just bull. That's bull snap. That is bull snap game. Oh, oh, looks like I'm almost doing it. Keep going, keep... I guarantee there's an invisible barrier. Leap! I will never give up. That's not true. I'm probably gonna give up in like two seconds. Just keep going. Keep. Uh, all right, I give up. That's it. Screw you, invisible wall, you dirk. So from here, we're gonna go and uh, get up onto the uh, the high wall of Lothgar or whatever it's called. Lothric, Lothgar, High Hrothgar. What am I? What is High Hrothgar? Is that is that a is that a Skyrim thing? Am I getting Dark Souls and Skyrim? Blah blah blah. Yeah, High Wall of Lothric. So let's do it. Miracle allegedly used by the warriors of sunlight hurls a lightning spear. Wait, why would why would sunlight people be using lightning? Wouldn't sunlight be more of like a like a flame something or another? Like a flaming thing? <laughs> I don't know. I, what, what, what do I know? <sighs> that door was crazy. Damn, look at that view. Damn, Gina. Damn. So, uh, about here, I mean, I obviously explored a little bit further, but this is pretty rough, uh, roughly where I left off, so I guess I can't technically say it's a fully blind pay playthrough. I, you know what? Screw it. No, I can say that. The playthrough is blind, just the, the prologue wasn't, okay? Um, so these guys are praying to their things that are turning into trees and reaching for the, like, the sun, I think? Uh, they, they don't attack you, but you can kill them for their souls, which is always a nice thing to do. So, I'm gonna do it. Give me all your souls! Oh, that one had a, that one had a dagger! That one did too! Oh, wait a second, do these guys, like, secretly turn their back on you? Oh no, that guy's screaming. Hello, sir! Can I interest you in one of these? Wow, I sold that quickly. Hey, sir. Oh! Oh god, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta finish the animation. Whoa! Oh, collateral, sir. Oh, so you hold the button to do the- Oh, alright. Couldn't figure out how to do the, uh... I, I guess they're technically probably not called viscerals. Uh, maybe they're called viscerals. Whatever that is! The animation attack. 
Hurt! Oh, that's awesome. You should get extra souls when you pierce their buttholes. That was an unintentional rhyme that I'm totally okay with. Um, hello, madam. Could I interest you in a surprise attack? Yeah. Now there's a guy up here that'll throw a, a bunch of shit at you if you don't if you uh, if you let him wake up. But that guy'll just go like that and he'll fall off like an idiot. So then you just go yeah, and then you go yeah, and then when that guy's on the ground, you uh, drop attack. That hurts you. So it's actually it was really dumb of me to do that. But hey, style points, okay? I do things for style points. God damn, Gina. Got to stop saying that. But this view is amazing. It already looked good in the Dark Souls games, but they went above and beyond. Wait, did I say Dark Souls? Wait. 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 I don't remember what I said. Okay, reevaluating. I meant Bloodborne. If I said Bloodborne already, then everything's fine. But on the chance that I did say Dark Souls when I meant to say Bloodborne, then I I take that back. Let's see if I can get two. Nope. Was hoping for two. You also can't lock on to them when they're on the ground anymore, which was a thing you could do in Bloodborne, but you can't do in Dark Souls. Um, I, I see why they took that out, because they want you to not expect them to get up. But when I already know for a fact that they're going to get up, it would be really nice if I could just lock on. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Wow, I went off that a little recklessly. That could have been absolutely hilarious. So there's two guys here. Oh, God. I was trying to lock onto them before. And it didn't work, especially because they don't lock on with on the ground. I just talked about that. God damn it. Now, this guy's going to attack as soon as you approach. So let him attack. And then you go for the counter. Oh, God. Oh, God. I missed the counter. Yeah. Urgh, my skeleton furs. The enemies in this game look really cool. I really like these skeletal designs. They are awesome. Good on you, Dark Souls. I almost said Bloodborne. That pause that is most definitely audible. That was me going, not Bloodborne, not Bloodborne, Dark Souls. But GP, they're so similar. Don't you want to say that and piss off the internet? Uh, no. Although they are pretty similar. And that is going to piss off the internet. I'm sorry. They're very similar in, in games. There are differences. Do not get me wrong. There is definitely differences between this and Bloodborne. But I'd say there's more similarities than differences. Now, me and this guy are going to dance around toe to toe. Come on, baby. Make the swing. Is There it is. And there's my counter offer. Whoa. Oh, what you say, whoa. Hey, stop shooting at me. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to stab this guy because I don't want him to shoot at me anymore. Oh, oh, that's a lot of men. A lot of men. Let me just, uh, let me just summon my, my friend here. Scrap! Oh, whoa. Oh, come on. Really? I can't fall that far. You uh, do not want to get in the way of his horrible flame breath. I wanted to show it off, but uh, I was getting flanked. Yeah, see, that's that's pretty much why, because that'll be you if you uh, get too close. Now, it's unfortunate because there's items up here that I really want, but I'll probably die trying to get them. So I'm just I'm just going to just going to go. Uh, don't, don't, don't breathe fire for a second. Let me get past. All right. Now you can breathe all the fire you want now, Drago. Urgh. Stabbing animation. Oh, what? Oh, crap. Urgh. I was just taking a nerp. Oh, geez. That was kind of sad, actually. I felt bad. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Okay. Wasn't expecting to see you here. How you doing? Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to heal for a moment. Do you mind? Oh, shit. God damn you and your double swings. Stop on that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, sir, please, do you mind? I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get out of here. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna leave, if you don't mind. Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna leave. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, baby. Go, oh, what? I fucking pressed the button. You, what? 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 Right, what? Heal, and then, dragon, try to breathe fire on me. Do it, do it now. You, you waited too long. You waited too long. You waited too long. Ha ha, you can't get me in here. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! You little prick. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, I guess he's sensitive to being called a prick. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't realize. Wow. Usually you, uh, you leave me alone when I go in here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna climb up here then. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, yeah. Yeah, where you going? Oh, you can't climb ladders? Can't climb ladders, prick! 
So what I was trying to do is I was trying to antagonize the dragon into uh, into burning this guy. Uh, I, I could fight him. Uh, I don't know why I was doing not so well there, but uh, <laughs> I'd rather just uh, let the dragon do my dirty work. Um, what, what, what is it that, uh, that the Joker says? If you're good at something, never do it for free. Yeah! And I didn't do it for free! Get shrekt! So I'm gonna go a little bit further, probably until I, uh, use up this, this other flask. And then I'm gonna duck back to a, uh, to a bonfire. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna end this video here because it's been a pretty long one, actually. And I, I got pretty far, actually, all things considered. Now this guy is just super aggressive. Hit me. Hit me! Come on, hit me! Speaking of the Joker, and you're dead for. I'm just gonna go across this, get a firebomb. If you time it right, this guy will be directly underneath you when you're on top of this. But I didn't time it right, so reevaluate. Bam! Hey, buddy. Wow! Get done. Now, apparently, I found this out the hard way. These explode. The barrels that have like the the wrapping on them with the rope and stuff, they'll explode. Now, it's, it's kind of silly because when I break through them, it's there's no there's no powder or or liquid that comes out of it so i i'm not sure what is exactly exploding but i'll be damned if it doesn't so there's a guy down here right there his name's buttfuck mcgee but uh with this shield i should be good bam oh yeah yo oh, god oh god does does him hitting me with the sh wait if he hits my shield wow Getting hit with your shield takes stamina? Damn! Learned something new! Uh, this was the barrels that killed me, by the way. This little asshole. So what you do is you go, yep, and then you run out, and he throws it, and they explode, and then he throws another one, and you dodge it, and then you go, Wah! And that's it. Oh, wow! He just high kicked his own face! Damn, dude, you contortionist? <laughs> I love, I like the idea that he's just mad at himself. He's like, I swear to God. If I ever die, I'm going to high kick my own freaking face. And then he died, and man, gotta give it to him. Yeah, he, uh, he stuck to his word. Hello? It's locked. Okay. I actually knew that it was locked, but I was just showing you guys that it's locked just in case it's. Just in case it's a. Uh, in, in case you wanted to know. In case you uh, needed to know that there's a locked guy down there. You know, in case it's, it's important to you that you find that out. I just love doing this. Oh, it's just so satisfying. There's no point to it because they refuse to put pretty much anything of interest in it. But it's just so satisfying. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna touch this one too, even though it's locked. Sorry, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, the door is locked. That is one of my favorite things that people do unironically, which is put a spoiler alert after the spoiler. Like, if you're doing it ironically, it's fine. You know, it's like, oh, you know, they're, they're making a joke. But like the people who literally just been like, Ah, oh, man, did you know that Bruce Willis was a ghost? Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. It's like, thanks, thanks for the tip. You, your, uh, your placement was wrong, but thank you. Thank you for your tip. The tip, not your tip. You ever give me your tip and I fucking call the police. Light bonfire. Ladies and gentlemen, that is roughly 40 minutes of uh, raw footage time here in uh, good old Dark Souls uh, 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 3. And uh, that's it. There's the dragon that was uh, my wingman helping me out with uh, that guy. There are just some really creepy trees. I'm not gonna lie. That is actually not only very creepy, but also incredibly cool. I really dig in that. I like that my bonfire is placed around horrifying tree demons. Sorry, not demons, tree supernaturals. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Join me next time as, uh, I actually started to get to uncharted territory. This uh, this play th or this playthrough, this uh, episode, pretty much I had uh, already s experienced everything that uh, pretty much experienced everything that we that we did so far. But uh, when we get back, it's actually only about one other area that I've experienced, and then outside of that, completely Ray Charles. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I've been the Grinding Pixel, and please. For the love of God, don't drink and drive. Dark Souls!